Hi, it's Jess. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my makeup diet and my makeup wish list. So the other day my best friend Jackie uh, sent me a text message saying, I just bought you some awesome birthday presents. Make sure you don't buy anything uh, until your birthday. So my birthday is about two weeks away, or it was at the time, and uh, I was like, oh, how am I supposed to not buy any makeup for two whole weeks? And then I kind of stopped myself and was like, that is crazy, the idea that I can't not buy something for two weeks. Uh, so I decided I was going to put myself on a makeup diet, and I'm not going to buy any makeup whatsoever. No drugstore, no Sephora, no high-end. This weekend I had to walk through the mall, or on Monday night I had to walk through the mall and sort of like shield my eyes from all the counters in the bay and stuff. Uh, so I'm not buying anything. So instead what I did was make a wish list of all the things that I wish I could buy. Uh, and I thought for fun I would share it with you. Uh, so the first thing on my list is uh, more Benefit Cream eyeshadows. So before my diet, I was in Sephora and I was exchanging some eyeshadows that I bought the wrong number of. And I really was looking for uh, a tart cream eyeshadow. I'd seen in uh, Legally Brunette's video, I she had reviewed uh, that Glow Your Way Gorgeous tart package that's available from QVC. So it's like a whole... Uh, set of all kinds of different makeups and the thing that I liked the most out of there was the cream eyeshadow that she, that she had and it was sort of like a coppery color it was really pretty so I was looking for that in the Tarte aisle and they didn't have a single cream eyeshadow uh, so then I started branching out to other brands to see what other cream eyeshadows I could get maybe I could get something similar so what I walked away with was not something all that similar but something I really really like anyway and it's the Benefit Creaseless eyeshadow and so it looks like this and then the color that I have is is Flatter Me and of course everything shows up with a blue tinge in this room which is kind of annoying um, let's see can you see that so that's a color it's kind of pinky purpley I just really like how super easy these go on if I'm in a big rush in the morning I just don't put any primer or anything like that on and I just throw these on my eyes and with nothing else and they look really good so I would love to get more colors in these um the other thing that I would like some more of is the Stila smudge sticks I bought this at Sephora a little while ago it's color moray so it's like a green color and it comes in one of these things that you sort of twist to push up and I just really like this it stays really well and um, it doesn't yeah once it sets it doesn't go anywhere and this color is really great on me and I know they have a bunch of other colors like I'd love to get a purple from there and yeah a brown maybe too so I'm definitely on the lookout for more of those uh, the next thing is a Sigma brush set so I was on the Sigma website the other day and looking at all their different brush sets trying to figure out which one I would like. I have uh, a bit of a collection of I have five or six MAC brushes and every time I buy a MAC brush it immediately becomes indispensable to me. I cannot live without it like uh, I and I've sort of just slowly been collecting the essential ones so I'll show you maybe what I have right now. Um, the first one that I got was this MAC I think it's one 58 and then so it's like a blush brush I love this brush it fits so perfectly uh, for applying blush or bronzer I use it non-stop you can see it probably needs to, a bit of a wash um, the next one I got was the 217 and it's super awesome and then the next one I got was a 224 blender brush I don't have any other brushes that do this job it just blends everything out so beautifully and oh I also got um, a 208 um, angled brush. I use this to fill in my eyebrows. And the last one that I have is a 219 uh, and that's the pencil brush. I use that um, to smudge out eyeliner and to apply, you know, eyeshadow underneath my eyes as liner. 
So yeah, each one of those, like, I can't live without them now. But what I really want is to sort of expand it so that when I have dirty ones, like, say, this one, because I used it for a cranberry color, um, that I have something clean that I can use for a different color. Um, yeah, and I just want to see how they compare. Everybody's constantly comparing them to MAC, so I, I, I just want to see. So there's a $100 set that comes, and you can pick which color you want, which is an awesome gimmick for me. I love that kind of thing. So there's blue and purple and pink and, I think, black. So I really want the blue one. Um, and it comes with a whole variety of brushes, and I like it because I used to keep my brushes out on my desk here, but I have two cats that come up and just love to rub against everything and so I would be applying my stuff and wondering why my skin was getting so super itchy and that's because my cats were getting cat hair all over my brushes so now I have to keep them in the drawer but if I got the Sigma set I could keep it out because it has like a lid and a, bo like a bottom and a top and so it would keep them enclosed and keep them clean and away from the cats where but they wouldn't take up any space in my in my drawers so I'm seriously still debating that, but definitely not until after my diet is over. Uh, the next thing on the list is the Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I haven't seen this in person. I've only seen it online. But what I do have is a Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. It's this one. Uh, it's very well used. And the colors that I love the most out of it are the three matte colors. So this is Heaven, and that's the my, the color that I use the most as a highlighter, so right underneath my brow bone. Um, it's perfect for me. And this is Velvet Revolver, and I love this as just like a medium brown. Use it in the crease or wherever, and then this is a perfect sort of darker brown. I also really like Push Up and Hot Pot, these two sparkly colors. But then there's Silk Teddy and Nude Beach, and forget about it. These are so sparkly and have so much fallout that I just I don't touch them ever because they're just too crazy for me um, so a whole palette that looks just like this but is matte and has like a couple I think there's a blue in there and like a purple in there and so that I, I love matte eyeshadows the most so I would really like to check that out um, I'm not sure if they have it at Sephora I haven't actually seen it but I don't normally look at the Too Faced stuff so I may have to look a little bit closer and if not I may just order it online after my diet uh, the next thing is a tinted moisturizer I it's summertime right now and things are getting very sweaty outside today was 31 degrees pretty much all day and I just am not liking wearing full coverage uh, foundation. The, what I use right now is the NARS Sheer Glow and that can be kind of heavy on, in the summer. So I want to get a tinted moisturizer although it's already the middle of July and summer will be over soon and maybe this is something that I should skip but I've been kind of eyeing up the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. We'll see if I find a shade that I really like and sort of a finish and look that I really like then I'm, I may buy it. The next thing is really fun and I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's a Glim box and a Lux box. So you may have seen on YouTube already some videos about Birchbox in the United States. It's basically what happens is uh, you sign up, it's a subscription service. I believe Birchbox is $10 a month. So you sign up for that and then every month you get five, three to five samples in the mail of um, different products to try. So usually they're not full size, they're usually sample size, but they're decent sized samples. And uh, and you get just get to try out random stuff, which I think is so fun and might curb my shopping a little bit if I can, I can try out stuff without having to make a full commitment to buy a full size. So in Canada, we can't get the birch box, they don't ship here. But what we do have is a Lux box, and so if you, you can look that up on YouTube, if you type in L U X E box, uh, you'll see all kinds of people unboxing their Lux boxes every month, and you'll see what kind of products come in them. And then there's a brand new one that uh, basically just started, and it's called Glim Box G L Y M M, and they. Um, had sort of a pre-launch and so just starting today and yesterday actually videos were starting to come up on YouTube of people who are part of the pre-launch opening up their boxes and their stuff looks really fantastic and I'm trying to think of what they got. They got a Stila lip gloss which I want to try because people have been talking about it. They got a perfume, uh, the La Roche-Posay 
SPF 60 face um, sunscreen, which is another thing I've been wanting to try, and a mini OPI silver colored down polish. Uh, so those are all awesome things, and for 10 bucks, I think that's an awesome deal. So I'm definitely going to sign up, or I'm hoping to get that for my birthday. But So if I don't get it, I'll, I think I might even sign up for both, because I think it's such a great deal, and it would be so fun to twice a month get a fancy box to open with cool surprise stuff inside. Uh, the next thing is a, a drugstore product. It's the Physician's Formula Gel Eyeliner. Uh, that's another thing that I've seen a lot of people talking about lately, and I just like to expand my eyeliner collection. Uh, and the last thing is the Beauty Blender Sponge. So I never see them at Sephora, even though they're supposed to be sold there. And I really want to touch it and see if it's something that I want to use. Um, I've seen a lot of great tutorials and demonstrations on YouTube, but there's nothing that beats like actually touching something like that. So I'm hoping that I might find it in stores. If not, I may just buy it anyway online. So one of the reasons why I made decide to make this wish list is to keep me from making splurge spur of the moment purchases. I showed you one that worked out that benefit uh, Craigslist eyeshadow. I hadn't really planned to buy that that day but it worked out so well I'm glad but a lot of times it doesn't work out so well and that happened to me last week when I went into MAC. Um, I had researched and planned and I was going to buy the color cranberry, the eyeshadow color cranberry and I did buy that and I love it but uh, I also bought the new Semi Precious collection was out and I was all excited to see a collection and uh, I was really taken in by the very pretty pan colors in the pan. So I, I only bought one but um, it's in its mineral mode and man I love the way that looks so much. It's weird and crazy and original and who has an eyeshadow like that? Um, and even when I swatched it on my finger, on my hand, I thought it came off as like really pr pretty pink champagne sort of color. And that looked really nice. And then I came home and I put it on my eyes and it turned out to be this frosty, ugly purple color. It was hideous. I hate it. So I love the way this looks in the pan, but I hate the way it looks on my eyes. And having watched a bunch of other people's reviews of this, of that whole line, it seems like that's the major consensus. Is that, yeah, these look really beautiful. There's some really pretty colors, but they don't actually look that great on your eyes. So I'm super disappointed, and I kept the receipt, and I'm totally going to go return this and get something else or get my money back. I might buy another paint pot. I really want the Rubenes paint pot. Because nothing on this list is actually from Max. So maybe I should just get my money back and get something on this list. But not until after my birthday. So I've got about another week left to go. And I'm trying to stay strong. Um, if you have anything that you want to buy but are holding back, let me know in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching this really long wish list video.